name of Jesus. We are so grateful unto you and we give you praise for all your doings in our lives. You are so awesome in our midst. We thank you for manifesting yourself in our midst anytime you bring us unto you on this mountain. Thank you for the wonderful testimonies we have heard today. Thank you for the multitudes upon multitudes of your children you have gathered unto you on this mountain this morning. And we thank you for the light of your word you are bringing to us. We are asking that Father give us a receptive heart. Amen. And plant your seed in our heart. Amen. And let it bear fruit hundredfold to your glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we come against anything the enemy will use to choke your word in our lives. Amen. We come against any strategy he will use to steal your word from us. Amen. We come against any tongues that he will use to destroy the seed. Amen. And we invoke the blood against every such move of the devil and we destroy it in Jesus' name. Amen. And we are saying, Father, by your power and by the help of your spirit. Yes. Let us be indeed people that walk in the light of your word. Amen. Manifest yourself through our lives yes. and through this ministry. Yes. Amen. And draw multitudes unto you yes. by your acts in our lives Amen. and in this glorious church of yours. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are ready to hear your voice. Let us hear your voice and not the voice of your servant. Amen. We have come to hear you and not man. Therefore, speak the light of your word to us. Bless every one of us here. Amen. Let situations change Amen. before we live here. Amen. Let every pain in the body be healed, be gone Amen. by the time you are true with your word with us. Amen. Let every burden upon our heart roll away by the power of your word. Amen. Let anybody sick here be healed as your word comes to us. Amen. Because you sent forth your word and your word went to heal them. Amen. Father, healing spiritually, healing physically, healing mentally, healing financially, Amen. healing uh, rationally, Amen. healing mar maritally, Amen. healing in every area. Amen. Lord, let your word bring that healing. Amen. And to everyone that is watching us, on the on the net of listening to the CD. Lord, let that same power effect the healing now Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We bless you so much, God, and we love you, and we are delighted to be chosen to serve you. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. You may be seated in his presence on this wonderful mountain of God. We thank God last week we touched on what we call the law of faith, applying the law of faith for your manifestation. The law of faith, the law of faith. And we, we have come to understand that uh, without faith, nothing happens. Without faith, nothing happens. Without faith, nothing happens. And so faith becomes the 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 launching pad into success in god faith become the launching pad into success in god because the only thing that moves god is our faith the only thing that moves god is our faith our prayer does not move him if our prayer is going to move God, it has to be a prayer of faith before it will move God. Everything we do in the house of God must be done in faith. And that is why the Bible says, whatsoever is not of faith is sin. That means that if you are doing something outside faith, the Bible considers it as sin. As sin. So you can be doing a good thing in sin. You can be paying tight in sin. You can be giving offering in sin. You can be dancing in sin. If it is not done in faith. And what that means is that you are going to have to believe God. You are going to have to trust in him. You are going to have to believe in who he says he is. You are going to have to trust him to do whatever he says he's able to do. Before you even approach him on any issue. Because if you don't believe God and you bring anything to him, it is almost as if you are mocking God. 
And that is why the Bible says, then it is sin. Because if, if I walk to you or if I came to your house and I say, my sister or my brother, can you lend me $10 million right now? The first thing that will come out of your mouth is, Pastor, are you here to mock me? Now, why would you say that? Because you know I know you won't keep 10 million in your house, even if you have it. So for me to come and ask of that, it means I'm mocking you. I'm, I'm not serious with it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really expecting you to give me that money, but I'm just mocking you. And that is how it is with anybody that goes to God without faith. And this is why the Bible says in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11 that anyone that comes to him must believe that he's God. It's a must. You are coming to him, then you must believe that he's God. In other words, you must have that faith that he's God. He's the almighty. He's the all-powerful. He can do everything. That is why I come to him. That is why I put my petition before him. That is why I put my trust in him. He is God. He is able to do all things exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we think and say. I believe it. I know it. That is why I come to him. So, if faith is not in and you come to God, what you are doing is that you are coming to experiment with God. You are coming to try him to see if it will happen. And that is why the Bible says it is sin for anybody to do that. May we never be among those that commit that sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So church, faith is the key. Faith is the key. Faith is the key. It is very, very important for us to know that faith is the key. Faith is the key. And everything in God is appropriated by our faith. Everything. Everything in God. Every, whatever we are going to get from him is according to your faith. According to your faith. God doesn't have any problem doing anything we want him to do for us. The problem God is having, if I should put it that way, is our faith in him. And we are going to see it very soon. Our faith in him. Because anytime you ask God of something, God has to consider some things about you for the release of the request. And most often, a lot of us are found wanting after we have put our request or petition before him. But I want to believe that by the help of the Holy Spirit, we are going to, the Spirit of God is going to take us past that realm of doubting into the realm where we flow by faith, where faith becomes our, our lifestyle, where we live by faith. As a matter of fact, that is what the Bible says. The just shall live by faith. So if the just shall live by faith, then it means that the just will die without faith. Because the just can only live by faith. The Bible did not say the just shall talk faith. They live. Faith is our life. The just shall live by faith. It is our life. So whatever that I live by, I don't joke with it. I don't play games with it. When it comes to faith, it's not games because it's my life. That is why I will do whatever I want I have to do to build up in faith. As a matter of fact, when the enemy is coming against you, the first thing he attacks is your faith. You remember when Peter was working with Jesus physically and the devil was coming against Peter and Jesus said, Jesus perceived, he said, Peter, listen to me. The devil is coming against you. He desires to shift you like wheat. But I have prayed that your faith fails not. Now, that doesn't sound like something coming from a friend who claims to love. You have the power. And you have seen that he's coming against me. All you have to do is to destroy him. But Jesus didn't say, Peter, the devil is coming against you. Don't worry, I will stop him for you. No. He said, I have prayed that your faith will not fail. What does that mean? It means that it doesn't really matter how hard the devil is coming against you. As long as your faith is firm, he's wasting his time. Amen. Amen. But if the devil can